What's Drop up, a man? like, boy. Subscribe if we're brand new here. We're still home at 10K. We didn't get it by the end of the year, but we got to keep moving. We got to keep it rocking and rolling. How about them guys? And let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Kaden Jones. Looks like he's been essentially crystal balled. I haven't really heard that uh, terminology anymore. Thank God. I hate that. I feel like I've got PTSD anytime I hear that anymore. But it looks like he's been eyeing us the entire time. He says he's he's prayed on it. He's ready to rock and roll. I believe he's making his announcement this Sunday uh, after the American uh, All-American game. So it looks like Florida is a good shoe-in. It, again, just another piece to add to that offensive line. We lost a lot, obviously, in the transfer portal and also to the NFL draft. Again, I have been preaching this, and I will continue to preach it until I feel like we can land some big five-star studs because I saw a clip from Samson Pancake King just absolutely just maul this young man uh, from the All-American weekend. I mean, he just picked this man up and just just twisted him up like a pretzel. I was like, my goodness. Like, just stood his ground. I go, and that's why you've got all five stars, sir. Okay? Uh, yeah. yeah, he, you've, yeah. Earned, you've, you've ate your way to all five. <laughs> oh, yeah. He sure did. Yeah, guy, guy's a beast. So, look, I think adding the Katie Jones guy. But I And here's a big thing that I keep talking about as well, too, and I'm going to keep beating this till, till I'm blue in the face until I'm proven wrong. I, I truly believe that the character matters to Billy. Caden J- Jones seems like a great kid, right? Um, obviously, uh, with just kind of his mindset, how he's like, hey, I've talked with the family. We've prayed on it. Really kind of dialed in and hungry, ready to rock and roll. But it, with the kids that we've interviewed thus far, and I interviewed Cameron Jackson just last night. Obviously, he's coming in from Memphis, Tennessee. Just seems like a great kid. Hungry, ready to rock and roll. When I asked him, hey, what was it? He's like, I want to get the Gators back to the Gator standard. I want to come win a, a, a natty. I want to become the veteran in that locker room. And again, it, it's just easy for them to say, well, hey, it's about money. It's about this. No, it wasn't about that. It's like, I want to come and I want to be I want to be part of a great culture and a great team. And it feels like Billy just keeps going after those kind of guys. Does it going to pay off? I think it will. I think we proved this weekend at the under, uh, 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 the under our game that, look, our guys balled out. Like, absolutely balled out. Like, it wasn't even a question. Kelby Collins won, and that's kind of where the next part is. Kelby Collins won MVP for the speed team, I believe he was on. Phantom won 14-7 to from what I saw. But Kelby Collins won uh, from the speed team and absolutely just looked like a complete animal. And I remember speaking with Connor Clark, and he said Kelby Collins is going to be probably more than likely the biggest factor coming out of this class. I believe he is the number one or maybe number two now behind Jaden because Jaden got his fifth star, but he has and was the number one recruit for 2023, 2023 the entire time. Um, so he just looked like a grown man amongst boys out there. And he, he even says, I'm coming to take spots. I wouldn't put it past the fact that he's going to be in the starting lineup. I would be shocked if he wasn't a starter uh, come at the beginning of the season. Now, I'm not necessarily shocked. I think that D-line, especially with the additions in the portal, is going to be thick and heavy. But I, I 100% see Kelby earning some healthy reps uh, going into next season, which I'm excited for. I love. And again, I think that speaks volume too. That average class being at a 92.4 or whatever it is, there's a reason why that average class, we're fifth overall in average rating. Again, which it gets overlooked when we keep dropping down in the rankings. We're like 13th now overall. So I get it. Um, Caden Jones is going to help with that a little bit, but I'm excited for this class. They looked phenomenal. Have you? Did you get a chance to see the game or see any clip highlights, Steve? I, I did see a couple of highlights, and, and the, the one thing I do want to say about Caden Jones is he's from Louisiana, obviously, which is where Billy was coaching prior to coming to, to, to Gainesville. So I have a, a sneaking suspicion that Billy has been involved in this kid's recruitment for, for quite some time, not to mention he's also a big body kid. I mean, you're talking 6'8", 325 and he's still growing i mean if the kids got the feet that to play on on the outside for for a, a true tackle i mean that could be that could be an alabama style nfl prospect coming off the offensive line for you guys there so that's a that's a big get especially considering like you said um some of the losses that you've had some of the the transfer portal and some of the nfl guys um that are that are leaving um but look the 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 the, the the prospects for Florida played extremely well in that game. Uh, I didn't see the whole game. I just saw some YouTube clips, but um, it's it's certainly encouraging if uh, if you're a Florida fan to to see those guys go out there against the talent that they're playing against, play the way that they did. Especially to your point, Kelby Collins and look that that guy had a lot of a lot of uh, noise when it came to um, you know his recruitment with Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, all up there. So you know when you've got that many those coaches knocking on the door and you're able to pull that kid in, you know that you're getting somebody that's 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 ready to to play at a high level. 
Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, I tried, I'm trying to do the calculator, but 2024, it won't only go back to 2023 to see once if we add <laughs> Kevin Jones, where that's going to put us. I don't think it's going to be massive jumps. We may jump ahead of Texas a but it wouldn't be anything crazy. But yeah, look, speaking about the, the kids for 2023 that are playing at the All-American game again, Kelby Collins, to me, has been the, the staple thus far for the past three days or the past four days or three days that they were, they were there uh, in Orlando, made a huge statement. Right again, winning, winning the the, the MVP on, a, on from from a defensive side of things. I believe he had two sacks, uh, which which is great because those guys don't play the entire time either. Right. Uh, Jakeem Jackson made some noise. Will Norman made some noise. Uh, Jade Rashada had made some noise on day one and day two. Didn't look the greatest in the game. He had some moments, uh, but he didn't string a, a, a great a lot of great passes together. Uh, the kid Arnold from I think he's committed to Oklahoma, five star quarterback, looked like an absolute tank out there in comparison. I think that's kind of what... Look, when you're going to, up against other five stars like that, it's easy to really see the difference of of, of, of talent very quickly uh, when somebody comes in. Now, and they talked about it last night too during the game. I watched a little bit towards the end where uh, the offense has a struggle a little bit, right? Because defense is more reactive. It's more based on athleticism where you can kind of go out there. You know your position. It's like, hey, just go with this guy. Right? You play this yeah, zone, et cetera. <laughs> yeah, it's, you can, it's more kind of based on that person, on that personnel and how great they are as a kid and again all these kids are athletes if they're at this game where the offense yeah this the schemes you know they don't have much time to get these schemes dialed in and that's why the offense is usually is pretty lackluster of a performance uh dylan edwards the running back committed to uh colorado my goodness guy looks like he's coming out of a shooting out of a cannon i believe he did win the fastest player from this weekend the get the kid's quick the kid is quick and i look we talked about what what coach prime's doing out there in colorado uh, I don't want to go too far because I know how you Florida fans start ripping my, my head off because of it. But uh, uh, he looked he looked really good as well too. So it was fun to watch that game. I was uh, to go back and we see that see the highlights and the clips again and just kind of seeing a taste of what twenty twenty three is going to look like. Again, Najee Harris played in that game. Uh, Aiden Mazel did not probably more likely due to injury. But Eugene Wilson is also getting a lot of love, a lot of shout outs, looking like being compared to the next Percy Harvin. The guy is just an athletic freak. I saw a clip where he was playing DB and just. Flew in the air, like a, like a majestic animal, and just snatched it <laughs> like like a like a, a a crow out of the air. So, uh, yeah, so that was close cool. close enough. Like a bald yeah, eagle, yeah, yeah. just you get it, you get it, you get you you get what I'm putting down. 